hope it lasts forever. Let's watch a sitcom or something. No! Hello everyone and welcome to the Beat of Popcorn. And today we're gonna do the review on a Netflix movie, White Noise. Let's go! Two! The Netflix absurdity. Some crazy stuff, yo! Drama comedy White Noise tells the story of the Gladney family, which turns out to be a witness to an environment catastrophe and rise the topic of the toxic environment around the person. In this movie, everyone is constantly talking. Jack Gladney's colleagues at work, his children at home exchange information, news broadcasts expel portions of messages. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Morgan is Dean Star. Morgan is Dean Stark. The film begins with the phrase Okay, roll film. And a professor appears in a frame who tells that accident on the screen should not be perceived as a catastrophe. Surprisingly, Noah Bombach catastrophes and accidents are offered to be regarded from a positive point of view. Think positive, think positive. There is a feeling that there is a noise in the head. It squeezes by the constant sound of other people's voices. How's your head? My head? So from this point of view, Noah Bombeck managed to impress the viewer in this story. He managed to instill a sense of disturbance and displeasure from a constantly and everywhere sounding voices. There is so much talk here that the replicas are mixed up and it is difficult to separate them into the different statements and track who exactly they belong to. Where that voice is coming from? An example of such ridiculous mix of information is a scene of lecture about Elvis Presley, where the main character of the film come and connect to the professor with his information about Adolf Hitler. Director Noah Baumbach paints a catastrophe against the background of a catastrophe. He contrasts a large-scale ecological catastrophe with a microverse with a catastrophe in the family. What is a man against the nature which rebelled, took advantage of uh, the accident and became toxic to a person? The 90D is a lifespan of roughly 30 years, so you'll have made it halfway through. So to outlive this substance, I'll have to make it into my 70s? All facts are mixed up, including those that are important for the lectures. Information comes from everywhere a person absorbs facts and use by big amounts. It's too much information! <laughs> So when a real threat comes, he just wants his wife to cook dinner for him and a dessert at the end. There is some kind of exaggerated interpretation of a human defenselessness. Leaving humanity defenseless. In front of a global problem. Who is the man in front of a damaged nature? I don't have an answer to this question, but I think that the film White Noise is trying to speculate on this topic. The film has a structure. It is divided into three parts. Each of them is strictly devoted to the topic that is started in the title. But it doesn't help to take the film lightly. The skillfully created atmosphere of the ignorance and anxiety does not benefit the whole film. This mass information makes noise in the head and knocks down the logic. <sighs> You have no respect for logic. If the first half of the film is even more or less normal, then the second half is made without fiction, just very strange. Isn't that strange? <laughs> yeah, that's strange. The main advantage of the white noise is the leading actor. Adam Driver knocks down his energy. His game is very expressive. You believe him that he really tries to hide from what is happening. Tries not to see the obvious. At the same time, a funny and clumsy professor forced to save the life of his family. It causes sympathy. Driver added a funny touch to the portrait of his hero. He wears a mantle and constantly adjusts glasses on the bridge of his nose, slowly pushing his head through the neck of the mantle. It looks both ridiculous and intimidating. Ridiculous. It's like someone else lives under the fabric of his professional uniform. The script is based on the 1985 novel of the same name by Don DeLillo, but I haven't read the book, so I took the film exclusively as an independent work. 
and I was impressed to tell you the truth. This movie gave me this long forgotten feeling of a classic movie. A little remind me of one of the Steven Spielberg's work. The atmosphere is like I've been living through the whole time of the story of the characters. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Like if you liked it, subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment and see you in the next episode.